Rocking with PettyBlog.com. This your boy Snoop D O W G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. Can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> petty and T. Oh, petty. So they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get into this Drake and Rick Ross beef, cause I know y'all want to know exactly how it started, and you know we got you. I mean, where should I really even start? But let's first start off by saying this part. So yeah, Rick Ross exposed Drake's nose job. And it has Drake's mama stressed out because she's hurt that Drake ain't take her to get hers done too. Chill. <laughs> Drake's mama sent him the following text. Obs, the internet is saying you got a nose job? You look the same to me in the kitchen today. I can't believe you would get one without me. Chuckle emoji, because you know I always wanted one. Don't tell me that you got tattoos without me and now there's two. And Drake replied with seven crying laughing emojis. Yeah, I counted. He said, I would have got us a two for one deal if I went, ma. It's coming from Rick Ross, the guy I did songs with. He's gone loopy off the Monharo. And for those who are wondering, that's a diabetes injection medicine. He hasn't eaten in days and it's turned him angry and racist. He's performing at proms for money. It's bad. Don't worry. We'll handle it. Ooh, what that mean? You know that little we handle it part. <laughs> but yeah, so he also tagged Rick Ross in the story and wrote, you're one nosy goof. Not your one nosy goof. But I'm not going to lie, before Ross said something about his nose job, we didn't even notice that he got it dead. Rick Ross posted things like, the bridge of your nose somehow got smaller, BBL Drizzy. Oh, wow. And a few hours before that, he had wrote, who knows, as in N-O-S-E. That's crazy. <laughs> and it's crazy that Ross noticed more than his own mama and his own fans. Interesting. But Drake is one nosy goof too, y'all. Let me explain. Because since we're on this topic... We gotta go there real quick. So his mama, Drake's mother, who clearly loves to text to and about her son, had her phone out in a picture and the screen happened to be on. And do you know what her nosy son did? He zoomed all the way into her phone screen to see what his mama was texting. And as you can see on your screens, she basically texts someone that she always cries when she comes to her son's concerts and that she's so proud of him. And this was a few months back and Drake reposted it as a forever core memory. Aw, uh, and we wonder if in that moment of reading that his mama cried, if Drake cried too. And my mother cried to me, so I cried too. <laughs> nah, but on a serious note, Ricky also brought Drake's BBL to the light as well. And that is seriously old news but i do know that not everybody be knowing about what be going on but this did happen years back that drake had some pudge so he went and got lipo 360 which is very similar to a bbl but without the fat transfer to his booty <laughs> i'm sorry oh man so that's why people think that drake got a bbl <laughs> And let's not even get into what his texting fingers mama texted them after finding out about his BBL, allegedly. According to an inside source who we can't name, that part has really stressed her out for real. And Drake had to explain to mom Dukes that no, he didn't get a Brazilian butt lift. <laughs> it was just a little ab etching. And that it's another one of Rick Ross, the guy he did songs with, lies. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Me waking up from a nap, I just realized BBL Drizzy called his mommy on me. Uh, he shared their text messages between each other. Uh, Cupcake Drake, tell your mama you stayed out past your curfew, white boy. You wanted to hang at the park with the niggas, smoke weed with the niggas while we washed our old school Chevys. White boy, you got a Chevy, white boy? I doubt it. But anyway, big nose. Big nose. Boy, you had 25% body fat with a carved out six piece. Stop. We know what time it is. That shit costs 40 bands. Stop. But tell your mama, well, in Miami, we say old oh, girl. Tell your old girl she a beautiful lady. I told you that before and I meant that. But you tell your mama, white boy, you stayed out at the pub too late. And you can't call her when you get in this shit. This shit too deep to call your mama, white boy. Back to the luxuries of life. I might write a song that they call, who knows, who knows, <laughs> one thing about, um, I'm going to say this, you niggas with them BBLs, you niggas, I'm speaking specifically to you niggas with BBLs, if you got a fake body, you got a fake mind, nigga, leave that shit to them cute bitches walking around in YSL heels. Not you bitch niggas at OVO. 
the pastrami posse. And now let's get down to the nitty gritty of why these two who were seemingly friends are now noticeably beefing. In verbatim, hip hop views are now latest news. But one of the most recent headlines blowing up the internet has to do with Drake and Rick Ross. And it just won't quiet down. The former loyal collaborators have churned out enough songs for them to be collectively clubbed together as an entire album of music. However, the bad blood between them has severed a once iconic longtime professional partnership. Here's what happened and how this new inflated hip hop beef lost all rhyme and reason. Drake Ross Beef Explained. First, Drake released a diss track called Push Ups, okay? And in the song, he dissed a whole bunch of rap guys, but he did single out Rick Ross and said, I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this ninja turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy. Spent that little check you got and stay up out my business. Ooh. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy. Not Drake gave Rick Ross all his hits. That's crazy. So then Rick Ross responded with champagne moments. Let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Within hours of Drake's track surfacing online, Rick Ross heavy handed response followed in the shape of another diss track, taking a dig at Drake's biracial ethnicity. Ross called Drake a white boy in his song. He added, ninjas leaking their records when we speaking directly? Ross even addressed the supposed origins of their fallout, which came into focus last month when Rick unfollowed Drake on social media. He said, I unfollowed you because you sent the cease and desist to French Montana, ninja. You sent the police, ninja. Hated on my dog's project, ninja. That wasn't the same white boy I seen, ninja, when we was making them early records. I unfollowed you because you sent the cease and desist. Mm interesting now if my ears serve me correctly i think rick ross also addressed that drake dm one of his old chicks Let you DM my old, but got bitches you can't. so basically his ex-girlfriend christina was invited to one of drake's shows or whatever so yeah it's also over a female I might take your latest girl and cover like on Ricky. pushing his side of the narrative into focus drake eventually took to instagram to share a screenshot of a text exchange with his mother as the heat of this war blew up on the internet, Drake's mother picked up the alleged claims made by Rick on his track that Drake had gotten a nose job. While responding to his mother, he laughed off these allegations and addressed the person responsible for fueling these claims, reminding her of the guy he did songs with. Drake even labeled Rick a racist. Instead of letting the beef die down, Ross also hopped on his socials. In his recent Instagram story, the Champagne Moments rapper branded Drake BBL Drizzy and scuffed at him for having called his mommy on him. Again, referring to the hotline bling hitmaker as white boy, Ross condescendingly tells him that his mama can't get him out these troubles. It suffice to say that fans who dearly love the duo's history of hard-hitting collaborations may now bid goodbye to any hopes of their new shared projects. Wow. And these two had so many songs together, y'all, like close to 20. Matter of fact, let's name them. Ashton Martin Music, Lord Knows, Dice Pineapples, Lemon Pepper Freestyle, Gold Roses, Free Spirit, Deuces, Money in the Grave. Tell them when I die, put my money in a brick. Couple figures kill his girl, lick the lick. Stay scheming. This feeling like rap change. It was a time it was rugged. I'm the one. No new friends. Made men. Pop that. Empire. Fed up. You only live once, and these weren't wax songs neither. They actually made some good music together. And I could have sworn that they actually were supposed to have an album together a few years ago. Mm. But all in all, I guess they can kiss that goodbye. But what do y'all think about this beef overall? You know, from Ricky Ross and BBL Drizzy. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Yeah, that's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your father. We you really want to know, so leave your thoughts below. Like and share this video, subscribe to this channel, and if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing out.